Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Fork Full of Noodles. I'm your host, Krish Mohan. Hey, you might notice some people laughing in the background of these episodes, and that is because this was filmed in front of a live virtual audience via Zoom. Uh, I do these shows three times a month, record them in front of a live virtual audience, uh, and you can be a part of this live virtual audience by getting tickets to one of these shows uh, where you can go get your tickets at krishmohanhaha.com. They're only $5 for one show, or you can get a multi-show pass and save uh, a few extra bucks. Uh, but if you become a sustaining member of this show, either on Patreon uh, or directly on my website or via PayPal or through Bandcamp, various different ways where you can become a sustaining member, you get free tickets to come to see the Citizen Revolution live virtual stand-up comedy shows, which eventually become episodes of Fork Full of Noodles, which is awesome. Uh, and not only that, uh, but these shows are filmed in the River's Edge studio, which is part of the River's Edge radio network. And I couldn't be thankful for uh, more thankful for being a part uh, of, of the studio. Uh, the River's Edge is your place to get local Pittsburgh music from the Pittsburgh area 24-7. Just go to the TuneIn app, download that app, and look for the River's Edge radio network. It's a 24-hour stream of independent music. The radio station is independently owned uh, and is located in Pittsburgh in the heart of Millvale. So you'll be supporting an independent local radio station. So check them out. Uh, and once again, if you want to get tickets to the shows, if you want to become a patron, if you want to make a donation, uh, if you want to check out past episodes of the show, go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. Thank you very much. And now onwards to the show. The argument for these lifetime appointments is that these folks are vetted by Congress for at least 60 days, picked by a president who we all know is, has always been good people, right? These are good people. <laughs> that you want to sit down and have a beer with. That's how we decide on elected officials that are going to pick people to be on the highest court of the land is can we get drunk with them? These are the arguments that we make. But most importantly, most importantly, the people that are in the Supreme Court are paragons of virtue. One of their roles is to protect the fundamental rights of all Americans, even as different parties take power. With the tremendous impact of this responsibility, it's no wonder that a U.S. Supreme Court justice is expected to be, in the words of Irving R. Kaufman, a paragon of virtue, an intellectual titan, and an administrative wizard. Yes, of course. <laughs> Paragons of virtue. Like Roger Taney. And, and wizards. <laughs> yeah. These two men, these paragons of virtue, said black people aren't people, but corporations are so virtuous. So virtuous, you guys. In fact, Waite decided that women don't get the right to vote, and murderers who kill black people get to go free. Oh, the virtue, right? And Waite is also the person that determined corporate personhood and, protected, and, and said that they were protected by the Constitution. And if you murder one of them, then that is an act of treason. That is an act of treason, you guys. And look, the legacy, this virtuous legacy of Morrison Waite can be seen all across our history today, right? And, and you see it more and more in killer cops that go free after they brutalize and kill black people. We just saw that earlier this week with Breonna Taylor. And even when they do get a sentence they deserve, they, we have a justice system that wants to lessen their sentence because they're police officers. The highest court in the land just gave cops a literal free pass to kill minorities in America, and there's no calls to overturn these laws. In fact, in modern day, in our day, the Supreme Court has decided that they will not overturn qualified immunity cases. Qualified immunity is offered to police officers so that they can't be sued for killing, maiming, or injuring citizens while on duty. And once again, this is another free pass to kill and brutalize black people in America. That's two get out of jail free cards from a court that has upheld some of the most racist decisions in the world and a couple of civil rights ones. And a couple like pro, they were like, we'll give, we'll gi we'll give civil rights this win. You know, we'll give them one. Fuck, Monopoly doesn't even give you two get out of jail free cards. These motherfuckers. 
Then we have the virtuous William H. Taft, who literally forgot that he was president when he was chief justice. It's, it's a real thing that happened in history, you guys. The virtuous members of the Taft court decided that minimum wage was unconstitutional, which led to private bargaining, which gave corporations a leg up. And this is why minimum wage has been stagnant for a decade. And who could forget Oliver Wendell Holmes, who said that the, the Espionage Act and the Sedition Acts don't violate the Constitution, or, or don't violate First Amendment. So you can imprison anti-war socialists for making speeches. Yes, of course, guys. Why not set the president that you're against the working class saying that they don't want to die for the causes of the rich? Look, saying speech is warfare is just like saying corporations are people. It's equally virtuous if virtuous suddenly means insane in this context. <laughs> and all of these cases dripping with virtue, so much virtue in these cases. Let's not forget this great paragon of virtue from the Stone Court uh, that said that Japanese exclusions during World War II were fair and fine in a state of emergency. That's right, finally, you guys, a loophole to federally mandated racism. Yes, haven't we all been waiting for it? And we have F an FDR appointed Supreme Court judge to help us out with that, to say yes, yes to internment camps. This is... This ruling is just oozing with, with virtue, like a, like a candy bar with a, like a nice caramelly nougaty center. This is just like, this is what led to and justified Muslim persecution in America uh, after massive terrorist events that were caused by extremists. And with all these virtues, the government backed by the courts can deem that we are now in a state of emergency and things like Black Lives Matter and anybody that claims black people are cool or supports this movement can't be near a police station, areas where cops patrol or even have been seen to patrol. patrol. And yes, this includes mall cops. And instead of arguing that this is a violation of clear violation of First Amendment rights, they would argue that cops are in peril. They're in danger from these protesters with their signs. And, and that this state of emergency means blue lives matter is constitutional. That's what this means. Look, the only way blue lives matter is ever relevant is when you're talking about the Smurfs. <laughs> That's the only way. Then, yes, Blue Lives Matter. And that has been your Forkful of Noodles for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you, you are, you're sharing this out with your friends, with your enemies, whoever you think would enjoy this show. Uh, and, and more importantly, make sure that you are subscribed, whether that you're watching this on YouTube, whether you're watching this on Facebook, listening to the audio version of this show, uh, or on rockfin.com, which is the uh, ad-free blockchain cryptocurrency site where the content creators are a part of the company. So uh, there's no censorship, there's no ads, and we're, we're all part of the family. And if you become a subscriber over at Rockfin for $10 a month, you get all of the exclusive premium content, not just for myself, but from all of the creators on Rockfin, people like Graham Elwood, Ron Placone, Kim Iverson, Jimmy Dore, a uh, ton of people that are on Rockfin. So uh, make sure you are subscribed. Uh, and once again, if you want to get tickets to these live virtual events that happen three times times a month on Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. You can also become a sustaining member to get free tickets and additional bonus unreleased stand-up comedy and storytelling content. Uh, you can um, also make a one-time donation. Check out all of my stand-up comedy albums. Uh, keep up to date on wh when my live shows are coming out uh, and sign up for my email list. Once again, the website is krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H -H -A. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you next week.